Hey everybody and welcome back to my dream machine and welcome back to Creative Kiwi. This is what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this groovy mug rug. And because I like to think outside of the box, we don't necessarily have to do a beer one, although it's really cool. Someone suggested today in the Creative Kiwi group that we do one with like sports material. I don't have that, so I just picked stuff that I like. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna chat for a minute to make sure people, you know, hit it on time. We'll give them, you know, five minutes. But we're gonna select different fabrics and threads. So my daughter, Samantha, uh, helped me pick out the thread colors and I picked out, Don and I actually picked out the fabric. So there'll be selections and everyone can vote and we'll pick the one that gets the most votes and then we'll work on the thread, how we're gonna do the thread. So uh, Suzanne Summers said, get pretzels cause it's beer and pretzels. I don't drink beer and I, I I, yeah, Don has a beer. I told him no burping either. Um, I shouldn't because of my meds. And I shouldn't eat this because of the salt. So if you hear me munching one or two, that's what I'm doing. So beer and pretzels, party on. Embroidery on, party on. I'm going to move them this way. So let me see. Hi there. Psych Grieven says hi. Sophie Horan, hi. Denise Sobel, hi. I'm here. Thank you for coming. Hi from Craft Monkey Shop, uh, Sally Kelly. Hi Sue and Don. Hi Sally. Suzanne Shep, of course. Thank you for coming, Suzanne. Yay! I'm glad you're here. Kentucky. Woo! Awesome. Dara English. Hello. Joy Anthony. Ooh, a Canadian. Hi Joy. Hi Joy. We're in Ontario. That's cool. That's cool. Um. I'm sewing the, oh, <laughs> Carol, Carol says, I, hi, I'm so excited. I couldn't wait. I'm sewing the last color now. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's a good thing. Oh, Australia. Oh, I'm so glad some Australians and hopefully some New Zealands can make it um, to the show. It's, uh, uh, it's midnight here in the UK. Well, we appreciate your dedication, Carol. That's awesome. Leah Lynch says hi. Denise Sobel says hi. I love seeing the names. I answer all of the questions or all of the comments on, you know, the channel. And I love seeing the names again and again. It's awesome. Um, love the design. M. King says love the design. Yeah, Creative Kiwi is awesome. Delaware. Denise Sobel's from Delaware. Um, Sophie. Sophie. Oh, by the way, it's my first time. It's, is it good for beginners? Yes, it's good for beginners. And she's from Calgary. Uh, cool, another Canadian. Yes, you will love this design. And we're gonna go through it step by step. I don't miss anything. Um, the first thing that I like to tell people to do, Creative Kiwi Designs are awesome. Her instructions are fantastic. Every step. There's pictures for everything and it tells you everything to do and it's fantastic for that. So yes, this is a good project to start off with. So congratulations on starting. Uh, you'll love it. You'll absolutely and you'll be so happy when you're done because these are so cool. Now this is my first time making these so I am going to follow along with the instructions as to what Creative Kiwi tells us to do. So, hello from Queensland, Australia. Awesome. I'm from Austria. Oh, I'm sorry. I pronounced I pronounced the name wrong. It's bound to happen. We try. Yeah, I try. I, I can blame it on Dawn, maybe. I'll, I'll take the blame. Yeah, sorry for mispronouncing your name. I actually don't have a computer in front of me, so it's really hard for me to see some of the comments sometimes. So, please forgive me. So, okay, how many people do we have? 40 people, rock on. This is gonna be a good so long, awesome. So I'm gonna be doing, now there's two sizes for this, and I'm gonna be doing the five by seven. Um, no particular reason, I just thought it would be cool to do that size. I guess the six by 10 is gonna take way too long to stitch out. Um, and so what, okay, so what I like to do, 
she gives you a list of materials. Now, I know you guys can't read this, but you can see what I'm pointing at. And you need to hoop water soluble stabilizer. And she even tells you the sizes for both because there's only two in this one. So you need some batting, you need the front fabric, you need the backing fabric. Now you can put actual fabric on the back and change your bobbin to match and you can make it reversible. I'm not gonna do that today. I find it much easier and I actually really like the results. I just use a little bit of uh, cutaway stabilizer. So I have a medium weight. I think mine is 2.5, isn't it? For the cutaway, so you have the heavier one. So medium to heavy, three is the heaviest you can get and mine's 2.5. And I just like how it works. So you can do either way. I will be doing the cutaway fabric. Sharp scissors and white fabric for the frothy part on top. Although, like I said, we are gonna think outside the box because that's generally what I do. And we're gonna come up with something a little different. So I'm gonna move my instructions over here. Make sure you have enough room for everything. How are we doing there? You're doing good. 41 watching. And they can read that if they've got their screen pulled up. You can read. Oh, can you? Paper. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I can see well that. there we go. Okay, so this is option number one. And I'm going to move the thread for now. So I was thinking, because I think outside the box, and a lot of people absolutely loved this uh fabric and it's from craftsy.com and it's one of the halloween ones they have two and i have both of them because i love it and this is just stunning fabric so i thought this could be for the cup and then i just have black felt for the frothy part so that is option number one it got a lot of votes in the groups today so hopefully you know we'll be able to figure it out so that's number one okay Let's hit number two. Now this is, oh, let me move my thread over with one. So this is Samantha's choice, we'll call it. So now this is really cool. So this fabric is gray with black and then we have matching fabric with the exact same pattern, but lighter. So I was thinking this would be really cool as the cup and this would be really cool as the froth and it matches completely and i'm thinking that looks cool what do you think of number two don i like it yeah it's, cool it's kind of cool again that fabric's from craftsy if you want it and it's called the layer cake and they're 10 by 10 squares i've talked about it before so this is option number three and this is the one that don likes and I thought if I carefully place this on, or even not too carefully, I just thought it was just kind of like a country scene and cute, and then I have some really nice white to go on the top for the frothy part. So that's your choices, one, two, or three. I'm gonna move the thread. So once we pick what we wanna do, then we'll go through and pick um, the fabric. So this is up to you guys what we're doing today. So let me make it so you can see it. So throw in your votes. Dawn's going to uh, count them. So just type in one, two, or three. And we'll see what everybody thinks. And then we'll go through and, and uh, pick the thread and create this awesome, awesome, awesome mug rug. So Number two, Denise Sobel says number two. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Two, two, two. Wow. Awesome. Wow. Number one. Okay, someone says number one. I like two. Two's in the lead. I'm so surprised Samantha's going to be so happy. That's awesome. Another for one. Another for one. Two. Great for a man. You know, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I, can you guys see the fabric well enough? It says it's spider webs and it says boo. Just pointing that out. So number three, Don's favorite, number three. So, so far, what are we thinking? I'm gonna take Dude. a sip of drink. Samantha's gonna be so happy because she wanted to for herself to take to university. So that'd be great. 
three great for a man yet dawn liked number three i'll be stitching these out anyway so after I, I, <coughs> excuse me and i'll put pictures up of how they ended up but for this one looks like Looks like number two. Okay, let me move my stuff here so we have enough room. Don, your wiener dog is snoring. Just ignore him. If you hear snoring, it's <laughs> not Don. Okay, so we've decided on number two. Now, we can do any thread on number two. So let me put this. So that's, that's going to be the bottom. And this is going to be the frothy top. So we can keep the same color through the whole thing or we can change it. Now, we kind of thought, because this is kind of subdued, we kind of thought the purple. Now, this is Floriani, my favorite thread, and it's number 675. <coughs> Sorry, I don't mean to cough in your ear, people. I'm kind of sick, so I'm fighting it. So, Floriani purple, and then, you ready for this one? Oh my goodness, we picked out the best Halloween green we could find. And it's Floriani again, and it's um, PF14, so the green. And then we thought, you know, maybe black. Just keep it simple. Sometimes simple is better. So one, two, or three, or we can do an orange, or I think either way, we could do one color for the whole thing, or we can split it up because I think any of these colors would look fantastic. So one is purple, or you can just call it out, purple, green, or black. Or if you have another idea, shout that out too. Love Floriani, Joy Anthony. I, I know, I wish I, if I could have anything in the world other than a luminaire, but um, you know, that's a long story. I would love to have one of all of the Floriani colors. I love the shine on it and all of my machines stitch it out gorgeously. So I'm just so happy with it. So what are we going to do? What are we doing? One and two. So someone is suggesting, who was it? Sally Kelly said one for the bottom, I'm assuming, and two for the top to kind of frame that. What else? Green. I know. I know. Green would look outstanding. Green. We have a miniature black and tan long hair. Oh, she's talking about weenies. Weenies. Yeah, I know. We have two weenies. We have a wire haired whose name is Odie and we have a black and tan short haired and his name is Gallifrey, which if you guys are nerdy enough, you will know what that means. It has something to do with Doctor Who. So if anyone knows that bonus points, bonus points. So purple, what's in the lead here, Don? Uh, I think it's close between the purple and green, but I think purple just is an inch higher. So you think purple? Mm -hmm. Should we give it a few more minutes? Yeah. That's a heck of a green. I'm going to bring it right up to the camera. hoo -ah. You know what else would be really cool I thought of is glow-in-the-dark thread. I don't have a bright one like this. It glows that color. But wouldn't that be kind of a cool effect? I, I think that might be kind of neat. Purple and green, Sally Kelly, wow. There's a couple, I haven't came to purple and green in a while. Purple and green, so purple on the bottom and green. I thought the green would kind of give it like a glow, like a Halloween glow. Purple is definitely a Halloween color. So one of the two, I'll let Don tell me. Why did I get an emoji response to my comment on your video? Um, because I was happy that you commented. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not doing emojis. So, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Um, purple. Purple. All right. So we're going to do the whole thing in purple. And you know what? we got to come up with something. I'm going to put this green aside because I want to come up with something to do with this green. Do you, can you mix them in the two? Or can you do purple and green? Or is it easier just purple? It doesn't matter. We can do purple on the bottom. Well, that's a solution, green right? Kind of a close second, so... Well, I really want to use this green, so... Do both. 
Well, let's do purple on the bottom because I think the purple is a bit darker and I think the green would be fantastic on this and it would make it look like a magical potion or something like that. So, okay, that's that's the decision, purple and green. There we go. All right. We are going to get started on this. Are you guys ready to start? All right. All right, Don, switching camera. I was a little quick, sorry. I remembered to move the microphone too so everyone can cheer me. All right, so the first thing, I've got to thread this. Don says we're back on, so you should be looking at my McDreamy. He's so dreamy, my McDreamy. And I'm just threading the purple so we can get started on this. There we go. Thread him up. Oops, he was sleeping. Wake up, McDreamy. It's time to rock and roll, buddy. And, whoops, I hit the camera. There we go. I'm going to put the green up on McDreamy so we can get started. So, looking good. I think the view's good. And hopefully you guys can hear me. And I've got my instructions right here. So we're going to be looking at the instructions. So the first step is stitch the outline of the mug. So let's put him into stitch. And we're ready to go. Now, when I do the creative Kiwi designs, I don't switch the colors before I start because you don't actually need to on a single needle machine so i don't spend any time messing around with the colors i already know what i'm gonna do and i find it easier this way so if you're wondering you know why i don't change them that would be why i'm also not matching the bobbin because i'm doing a white background on it so i'm using the cutaway fabric on the back and if you wanted to do fabric then you need to probably switch your bobbin you know rewind another bobbin to match so that's how i'm doing it there's a lot of play here either way looks fantastic when you're done so let's get into it let's go and we're going to stitch out the die line basically go mcdreamy go now remember this is in the five by seven hoop i thought it would be cool so there's the base. That's look, I like the size of it. I think that either one actually would be really cool. I like the size of it. Awesome. So that is our die line. So the next thing we're going to do is we put the batting on. Now, I have really thin batting. And she recommends, Heather Duff recommends that you use thin batting. It's not very expensive and it's nothing fancy. It's just, you know, normal sort of thing. But the thin is nice. Now you could use um, a thermal batting. Someone told me what the name of, and I can't think of it again. Oh my goodness. Hopefully you're watching and can thermofill or something. Someone said it in a comment and I was like, yeah, that's what I'm after. I just can't remember it. So there's different kinds of battings. I don't think you need anything super thick for it. So this is why my pre-cuts come in handy because I didn't have to do any prep work for this. You just lay it down and off you go. I like that. So the second color is, you could cut out the, oh yeah, we're gonna have to do that. All right, so the second color is just gonna tie everything down. Now I have everything set up. And my pieces are cut to size, so I'm not going to worry about anything. You don't need tape. You don't need anything else. So let's go. And we'll see how good the purple's going to look. I'm, oh, well, okay, McDreamy, you're off to a good start, buddy. We had a little unthreading going on. So let me see if I can grab it. McDreamy. He's got stage fright maybe, right? Stage fright. So I got to thread him again. Sorry about that. It's very awkward going around the microphone and the camera and everything else to rethread. You have to be acrobatic. I'm, I'm pretty acrobatic, yes. And put the foot up so I can do it. 
There we go. Now we're under control. So McDreamy, come on. So thread it. And then, of course, when you have something like this happen, you need to back it up. Back it up to the beginning of it because we don't want to miss those uh, tie down stitches when it first starts because uh, they might come unthreaded. Although we'll be covering this so we don't have to worry. But I'll take it right back. Lots going on. I think I... There. We should be there. All right, let's do it again. Okay, McDreamy, we're ready. Awesome. So it's just gonna tack everything down for us. Pardon me? Thank you. I love my McDreamy. I've had multi-needle machines for 15 years and I love McDreamy. It's a rather dream machine too. Um, and I like it. One thing I like the best about it, okay, I don't really like changing threads, I gotta tell you, but the one thing I like best about it is it's quiet. I can hear myself think, and it's a glorious thing to be able to hear yourself think after spending 15 years listening to our machines, which is not a bad thing, it's just a noisy thing. All right, flip him up, page. All right, so I am going to check yes all right i'm going to cut the fabric out of the frothy part because it is going to show so don switching cameras thank you you got my handy dandy scissor all right, can we see I'm in the right spot? So the reason why I am going to cut this out, this is thin fabric, and if you put the fabric over top, I can see through it. Now, you don't have to. If I was using the white felt, I would just totally leave it. But I don't, I don't want it to see through, I guess. So, okay, these are my favorite pokey scissors. I do not use them for trimming stuff out because they're really pointy and they're actually really tiny, but they are perfect. Perfect for getting the first slice in there and make sure you're not catching the uh, batting underneath. So once we got that, I put them back so I can find them and I put my scissors. Now these are my, people ask me about them all the time. These are just really inexpensive applique scissors from Gunnold and uh, gun old here in canada i'm not sure if they carry them in the states or anyone else or anywhere else they have a slight curve on them not a whole lot the microphone microphone oh dear i forgot the microphone apologies is someone telling you microphone thank you sharon uh yes feel free to remind me i forget to turn it so did everyone hear me or is i just like far away are they giving me a hard time? Forgot the microphone. <sighs> yes, yes. I will try to say it out loud so I sounded like I was far away. All right. So what I was saying, <laughs> now that you can hear me fine, what I was saying is I use my sharp scissors to cut this part out because otherwise it's really hard to do. And then I'm taking my gun old scissors and I, I'm going to do a video on how the different ways to cut out uh, applique fabric because a lot of people will hold their scissors like that and you don't necessarily get it close enough now I've been doing this for 15 years and this is how I do it you guys might have an easier way um, but this is how I do it so I I'm cool as sharing that see I hold the fabric a little bit put a little tension on it now you can't be yanking it because if you do you're gonna move everything we don't want to do that Make sure you're not cutting the batting. And I'm just taking my time. Applique is not a rush thing. If you are rushing applique, you're probably going to make a mistake. Now, if you do cut over the line a little bit, it's okay. It won't matter too much. So, you see how I'm doing it? And my scissors are flat. And I just find that it works, you know, perfectly every time. Every time. So, yeah, just take your time. And um, I found that trying to cut it on 
the uh, machine bed doesn't work. What a mess I was making. Put it down on a nice flat surface and cut it that way. And again, take your time. Now, this isn't a step quite yet, but this is like dangling around and kind of bugging me. So, okay, let me check my instructions. I got thread everywhere. The instructions. All right, we're gonna change cameras, Don. Switching cameras. Okay. All right, we're switching back to the machine. Did you want to say something, Don? I was just gonna let you know we have 53 people watching. 53! That's awesome. Thank you guys so much for attending. This is so awesome. I'm just quickly, uh, I may have called the camera change too early. I'm just cutting my piece down just a smidge so it looks better on the camera. So I'll be right there to the machine. All right, I'm here. I am here. Carefully put it back on. Oh, microphone. There we go. We got it. My swinging microphone. All right, so let's put this on. So I just took the bigger, the layer cake, the 10 by 10, and I cut it down a little bit just to make it a little more, you know, workable. So the next step is we're going to stitch that down because we don't want it to go anywhere. So let's go McDreamy on. Yep, nice stitches there. I think the purple looks fantastic so far. I think, oh, I hit the camera again. Sorry, everyone. Looking good. And it's going to go over it twice, which is fantastic. That just means it's going to hold everything down. Oh, it's not quite twi twice. It was walking back. So, okay, the next step, and I am going to do this right on the machine, and you just want to very carefully and take your time um, just because we have all the cameras you take it out of your machine and again take your time with trimming applique um, and you just want for now you just want to trim the bottom part where they meet because we're gonna do some nicer stitches now this is a little awkward so forgive me just a little awkward just because of the camera it's actually hard to do and it's actually hard to keep talking all the time too which is kind of funny but you know take your time do it better than I am apparently all right I can't do that I can't do that I'm not changing anything I'm just going to take the hoop out a little bit apparently if you count Suzanne's family there's 60 people watching us they have five of them watching oh Suzanne that's Suzanne Summers right yeah tell her it only counts if they all use a separate device on a register spot no it counts <laughs> Suzanne always counts I would like to say hello to Riley. Hi, Riley. Thank you for watching. Riley is Suzanne's uh, granddaughter who's uh, two, I think Suzanne said today. Suzanne posted an adorable picture of Riley helping out with the beer mug, actually. And her job is to use Q-tips on the edge to get rid of the uh, water sol soluble stabilizer. And I just thought that was wonderful. Now I've uh, accidentally unthreaded McDreamy. Come on, McDreamy. So I'm just gonna pull it through. That was my fault. I guess I can't blame McDreamy at all for that one. I kind of bumped it. All right. So we've cut away the fabric. Change thread to the color you would like on the inner mug. Okay, we're good. We have our purple. The purple's on the bottom. So let's rock this out. And it's going to stitch some detail work. Now, you can skip this step if you don't want the lines in the beer mug to make it look like a more like a mug. You don't have to do it. You can skip it. And it would just be like a more like a glass, I guess, is the word. I, I like it though, and I think the purple is going to add to it, and it looks fantastic. All right, so the next step, oh, it's right here. Ooh, I thought I couldn't find it. So, okay, while this is stitching out details, let me check in. Everything going okay, Don? Oh, isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? Um, no, 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 he doesn't. He's crunching on uh, 
treats that he shouldn't have either and drinking beer so hopefully you guys can hear Don you're always loud enough, darling. Oops, I left my scissors on there. That's a no-no. All right, now we're ready for the next step. So as I said before, I am just using cutaway. That's all it is. And I do it because it tucks very nicely underneath the hoop. If you were using fabric, I'm just peeking through because we're using it. What? If you're, what, what? What stitch is it? For is what? Just a run stitch or? For the design? Yeah. yeah. Um, for this part, it looked like it was a back stitch. So, and it's just hold, making it look a little thicker. It's gorgeous. So, a back or a triple? But I think it was a back stitch. So, it goes forward and back and then forward again. It's cool. So, if you have fabric, take your hoop off of your machine turn it over so your your hoop will be upside down and place the fabric on it face up the design face facing you so you can see it now you can tape it down you can slip it underneath if your machine's groovy with it mine does not like tape mcdreamy does not like tape and then put it back in and this is we're going to stitch it all down now so either way works really well it's uh, awesome so step number five is to attach the backing and it stitches the handle detail because we don't have any detail in here. So I've slipped it underneath. I'm good to go. So let's do step number five and put everything together. Looking good. I'm thinking the green glow on the froth is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's uh, kind of fun that we could all pick it out together. Like I said, Sam's going to be super happy because she actually really wanted this one. So that's awesome. This is just a running stitch, stitching everything down. Just to hold the backing or the back fabric on. So it's going to do that and then it's going to do some detail right here. Always watch your fingers. I know I do that but please be careful. Looking good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. Ah, okay, we're gonna do some trimming after that. All right, so we should have it on the back just fine. And we're gonna switch cameras, Don. So we've got it to this stage. Look how fantastic that looks. I think the purple's just fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to trim it. Now, if you have a hard time trimming it, if your scissors aren't great and you're struggling, take the time and do the fabric and then the batting because your scissors might have, a, you know, a little bit of a hard time getting through. Now, I can do both because my scissors are magical. Microphone. Oh, there's so many things to do. Okay, so it's now going to be Don's job to remind me to turn the microphone. Maybe you need to. The only problem is, is I'm, I catch it on the delay. Oh, and I've already yammered away. Maybe I'll tie a string to it so when I turn, <laughs> it goes. <laughs> what do you think? If you... If y'all have any ideas, you could just put it in the comment section. I, I'm just so excited about making this that I forget to do what I'm supposed to do. Well, it's nice to know people are listening. <laughs> Everybody's yelling, Mike. Mike. Well, this is how we roll. I, I'd give anything for my edit button, but I don't have it. So thank you for putting up with me, everyone. Jeez. All right, I made a little mistake there that I'm gonna fix in a minute. You could always, um, Creative Kiwi Designs are very forgiving, I would call it, very forgiving. So I made a little boo-boo there that I see, and I'm really picky about everything. Um, if I'm stitching out a design from another digitizer, because Creative Kiwi stuff is perfect, if I'm stitching out a design and it has a huge amount of jump stitches, I just stop and move on to another one. Um, Creative Kiwi designs are really good. I have never had a single issue with them, and I stitch them out a lot. So if you have a boo-boo, um, I try to show when I make a mistake, 
I show how to fix it and sometimes it's you can mend it a little bit and sometimes you just pretty much have to start again. That's that's what happened with the circle one. So the boo-boo I had was I just didn't trim it tight enough. If you remember, I was struggling a little bit on the machine. So I am going to tidy it up and I know I'll be fine. I might even use scissors. What's up? Donna Scissor, great teacher. Thank you, Donna. Donna Corning? No. Another Donna? Donna Tidwell. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the classes. I just found another boo-boo that I made, so I'm just going to... And if you're careful enough, you know what? You can do it sometimes. But that was just because I wasn't taking my time and I wasn't cutting very well. So it's worth it. It's worth it. Take it off the hoop. I have this on my second or third desk and it makes it a lot easier. So I'm being really careful with my Sharpie scissors. I still have to trim the batting. So this kind of looks a little hard, but it, it, it isn't. Just use your sharp scissors to dig it out. And this is one of the things that gives it a really good look is this detail, the handle detail. So cool. All right. I'm going to do the batting now. And you see how I spin the hoop around? That's so I can get my great angle to cut it. You can't, uh, you know, cross over and, and do it that way. I, I think it's much better. So I have a big desk and I just do exactly what I'm doing. I just kind of zing everything around and it's perfect. Okay, and we cannot forget here. I, I almost did forget there. So a little bit fiddly, guys, but it's not bad. So be really careful on this part because we don't want to cut the water-soluble stabilizer. Is that a mug of witch's brew? It, it, it is. I think it's going to be glowing green witch's brew, right? So, yeah, be really careful. I'm trying not to pokey everything with my sharp scissors. Actually, you know, we could have... If I had thought of it, well, I didn't know which one we were doing, but if I had thought of it, we could have uh, we could have labeled it, put words on it or something before we're done. Now, I'm just tidying up. It really, really is worth taking your time cutting these out. It just makes the edges perfect. See how I did that? That is not bad at all. I could tidy that up a little bit. The longer you spend on it, being careful and taking your time, whoops, that was terrible. Embroidery is never anything that you rush. You should never, never rush. That's when frustration happens. That's when mistakes happen. So take your time. So now I'm trimming the back, which if you had fabric, you'd be trimming fabric, but I'm just using my cutaway stabilizer and I just like how it looks and I don't have to pick out any different you know fabric for the back no one sees the back unless you're making it reversible and then everyone's going to see the back because you can just flip it over I don't and I don't think Samantha will so we're going to leave it at that where are my sharp ones there we go this might be I might cut that out afterwards because you know what I don't think I can do it I don't think so. All right, so we trimmed the back and the front, and I took my time, and I made it, you know, as neat and tidy as possible. I have little threads all over the place, but usually before I put it back on the machine, I give it a once-over, and, you know, just kind of like what I'm doing, just kind of fixing it up a little bit in the parts that... I'm super picky though. You guys don't have to be as picky as I am. That's just how I am. And take your time. I usually have uh, listen to a book, put some music on, something like that. So there we have it. Our witch's brew is looking very brewy. It's looking, I can't wait to see the green around the top. So back to the machine, switching, camera's done. Go. And moving my microphone. How do you like that? It only took me, what, five tries to get it right? Shush. You shush over there, Don. McDreamy is live. McDreamy is live. Return the hoop to the machine. Stitch. 
color six, which zigzags the edge. So now that we've trimmed everything, it's just gonna zigzag it down for us, which is nice. It's just gonna hold everything down and catch those edges. And we only have a couple more steps left. How cool is that? I do like the purple. What do you guys think? Okay, while that is stitching, I'm gonna move back and see, are there any questions? And I need a drink. Any questions? Oh, yeah, the delay. Yeah. All right, I can, I, I can, can eliminate that. I know, there is a slight delay. If the cutaway stabilizer gets wet, will it be okay? Yep, it'll be okay. Remember, you use cutaway stabilizer on t-shirts and sweatshirts, and you throw all that in the washing machine, right? So it will be okay, it doesn't go anywhere. It'll soften up a little bit, right now it's stiff. So you don't have to worry about it. I've washed a couple of my mug rugs and it's cool. It's cool, I'm just cleaning off my space a little bit. Where do you get the stitch file? Oh, you go to, Don's gonna give you a link, but you go to Creative Kiwi. And I think there's a link in the description of the video and in OML Embroidery University, we I put links too. It's a free file, so I encourage everyone to try it. Uh, Creative Kiwi, even their uh, freebies are awesome. Seriously awesome. So give it a try, you guys will be really happy. I'm thinking we're coming along fine. We only have two more steps to do. And one of which is getting that green on there. I can't wait to see that stitch out. I'm a, such a nerd that stitching green excites me. So much fun. I'm liking the purple. What do you think, Don? You like the purple? It looks cool. It kind of pops on that. Like yeah, that's what someone said when they were picking it. Do the purple, it pops. So swinging the camera, the microphone rather, back. All right, so now we are going to stitch out the satin stitches and the decorative stitches that go on top. Um, if you're doing this yourself, I would look and if you missed one of the trimmings, now would be the time to carefully go back and fix them. Like if you missed a spot or something, now is a good time. It's a good, you know, you can see the satin stitches is good. They're going to cover up everything that I did. So I'm fine. So we are going to keep stitching that out. So satin stitches on the purple and then we are good to go. So let's watch that stitch. Is there many people stitching along with me? Sixty-one people. You guys are awesome. So I don't know if you guys belong to the OML Embroidery Facebook group, but we made a phrase and we say, let's do this. And that is our inspiration to learn embroidery, to have fun in doing embroidery and have fun in our group. So let's do this means, you know, let's get this done. And what we're trying to get done is you guys are supporting me so all you have to do is like subscribe you know get as many people to subscribe to the channel and i will provide you guys with classes stitch alongs as much as i can possibly do and keep it free that's the whole thing of it we want to keep it free so if you guys participate and do all those things every time i will eventually get paid by youtube and the more you guys do it, the more eventually I'll get, I don't get paid anything right now, but I'll get paid more and let's do this. I think it's fantastic. People are learning. I love to see people learning. I love to see people, you know, when the light bulb goes on and I love what I'm doing. So let's do this. Let's do this and have fun. And I think it's fantastic. So let me look here. I'll swing the microphone. Yeah, that purple's fantastic. It is. Fantastic. Um, Sister Del is stitching a quilt right now, but watching along. Oh, yeah. Yay. That's good. That's fine. Stitch it away. I'm going to do an... That's, that's Shane missed the beginning, but she's hoping to watch it later. 
Yes, yes, we leave the reruns, we leave everything up on YouTube for you guys, and that's another part of let's do this. You don't have to pay for any classes, and I do provide you guys with full classes, like full tutorials that I used to get paid for. I've now taken them and I put them up for free on YouTube, and you can pause, rewind, put it in a playlist so you can find it quickly. There's a lot of stuff you can do, and I think that is fantastic. So yeah, let's do this. Let's make this the biggest embroidery um, thing on YouTube. And hopefully, you know, we can get some different software in. Maybe people will send it to me and I can do all the classes in that one too. What's up? Oh, that's but awesome. She, but she's been following Creative Ki Kiwi for many years. Creative Kiwi is awesome. I, She's been out for a while, and I used to have, and I still have, I've transferred them from computer to computer, a lot of her files. And I stitched out one or two, but then we just got too busy with work, and we didn't stitch anymore. So I'm telling you, I am having so much fun doing the creative kiwi stuff i'm gonna stick with it as long as everyone's enjoying it i'll go where the views are and right now the views are creative kiwi and it's awesome and they're excellent absolutely excellent um files stitch outs like they're perfect i would say so if you guys have any requests for stuff you want to learn how to do now we do have every day i put out a digitizing video so that's five days a week and the last one on friday is always a class so far that might change in the future but right now uh every friday is class day and i have uh p design 10 i have wilcom e4 i have embered and i have hatch so that's the classes will be in that and then as I come and I'm trying to do two a day, but the second one will be more about stitching. So digitizing one day a week in a class and then stitching or a vlog or learning something. So we might end up with two videos a day. So one for digitizing and one for stitching. I feel very strongly you can't have one without the other. You need to uh, know how to stitch and hoop properly to be a good digitizer, believe it or not. If you can't hoop, your work is never gonna look good. Donna Tidwell wants to know what you do with all of your stitch outs. Oh, I give them away. <laughs> They're all over my house and I love it. They end up on the walls. They end up in University of Windsor for my daughter. They, cause we all love Halloween. Uh, Beatrice has a few, Dawn's desk is full. Yeah, that's, this is, uh, I'm gonna show the camera here. I'm gonna interrupt. This is one of my favorite ones right here, right here. It's awesome. So you can see I'm using it. <laughs> so yeah, stitch outs. I, I kind of honestly am having so much fun. It has been a long time since I've had this much fun and I stitch out things that I like. So I have plans for everything that I stitch out. So, but what fun I'm having so much fun. Hope to make a job out of it one day and uh it, it's fantastic so creative kiwi you rock you rock is your mom watching today don um, I'll let you know. don's mom frida brown i don't know if we can see her but if you're in here mom hi mom thanks for watching she loves to see what don and i are doing so hopefully she's in hopefully okay loving the purple guys what awesome choices you guys made I think that's awesome. All right, I need a drink. We're almost ready for that green, man. She said, yeah. I asked her a little bit ago, and she said yes. Oh, well, say hi to your mom. They're just done, out loud. Hi, Mom. There you go. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Oh, it's looking good. It's doing the bottom part of it. I'm really liking this. This is... Halloweeny fun. It's fun. In chat too. <laughs> I'm sure she's giggling hearing hearing us say hello. So does anyone have any questions for me just while we're waiting for this to stitch? 
Any questions? This is a great time to do it. Dawn will answer the questions on the chat. I don't always see it. If, obviously, if I'm looking at my machine, I'm not going to see the chat. But he answers everything, or he'll shout out to me, and then I can answer, depending on what I'm doing. That's how we roll. This is a great time to do stuff together. Let's do this, as I keep saying. What? Then Shep said you can make a stitch out with all the, or you can make a quilt with all the stitch outs. So oh. Them all together and make a quilt. Just Wouldn't that be quilt. cool? That kind of neat. Wow. You know what? That would. That is a. Fa she has the best ideas. I tell you, <laughs> the two Suzannes in the group have the best ideas. Because that would be really neat to do a vlog on that at the end of a year, and we can go over and see all the stuff that we stitched together. That would be really cool. Great idea. Karina says that she is not stitching along tonight because she's at a weekend with uh, 50 sewers gathering in Norway. In Norway. Ooh. Well, that sounds like fun. Thank you for tuning in. And she loves Kiwi design, so she was tuning in. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, there's a couple of uh, newbies out there. Hopefully you guys are watching and wondered um, in the Kiwi group and in the OML Embroidery University group that, you know, is it hard to do? Is this for a beginner? It's not hard to do. You have the best instructions. Try not to get frustrated. If you make a boo-boo, you may have to start over again. I had to do that for the circle placement because I wasn't paying enough attention. And just, you know, do it. Let's do this. Let's all do this. You can do it. And you know what? If you have any questions, just ask. All right. McDreamy's making his happy noise. And I remembered the microphone this time. Rock it out. Change the bob and thread to match. Okay, but I'm not doing that. So now we are going to change to that awesome green that I'm so excited about. Now remember, when you're on a single needle and you change threads, you have to keep the thread going in the direction that it normally goes so if you pull it out from the top that's not cool that is pulling it the wrong way all right hold on a sec there we go sorry i couldn't quite reach and eventually you will wear out your tension discs so make sure it goes uh the proper way when you do it all right do, do we have the premier two software we do not we do not if you guys want me to do classes and the quick tips, which are really helpful on any software that I don't have, then contact the manufacturer of the software and ask them. And I think if enough people ask, we could get it to happen. Um, obviously, I can't afford to buy all of the software. The I'll be updating from... PE design 10 to 11 and here in Canada it's a thousand dollars so I won't be able to do that too often here we go with the green I'm so excited oh the purple is perfect okay that green's awesome wow yeah I like it thank you Floriani for such awesome thread colors I will write in the description when we're done all about the threads um, that we used in this and where you can get the fabric the name of it and I'll put in a link it's craftsy.com and they do ship here to Canada um, and I love it and the layer cake is 10 by 10 you can get fat quarters you can get uh, the strips the two and a half strips I forget the name of that um, all in the same fabric, and it's awesome. Ooh, what do you think of the green, Don? I think it's fantastic. You can, oh, I love seeing it. So I will put, once it's done, it takes a few minutes for it to render out and come up, and I will add all the links for everyone. So um, you can get, if you want to do it exactly that, because you love it like I do. Oh, Sam's going to love this one. That is a heck of a green. I, I searched high and low. I'll have to do a vlog one day or even a live on all my thread. I inherited a whole ton of thread and how I have it organized. It is awesome. Yeah, green really pops. Yeah, you like it? I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we went with the purple. 
Hey, we've got a great group. They picked fantastic stuff. Ooh, pause for a drink. Did you eat your pretzels yet, hun? I, I have a few left. I, I've been munching away. Ah, there you go. And what a wonderful way to spend a Saturday. There's a little bit of beer left so you can place it on the coaster after we're done. Oh, is that what you you're doing? You have to put the, the, the pretzels and the beer on the coaster. See how men make excuses for everything? I think that's funny. Okay, I love the fabric and I love the colors. So great teamwork on that one. Let's do this, right? Are you bragging about our uh, what we have? <laughs> we have a lot of machines. We embroider for a living. So up here in my office, I have McDreamy, which is a dream machine too. And I have Ragnar. I called him Ragnar because he is, he is a tough dude. And he is an entrepreneur pro uh, 1000E with the upgrade. So it has the fancy camera and all that kind of stuff. And I love both of them. I, I'm surprised how much I like uh, McDreamy, but yeah, I, I'm actually using him more now than I use Ragnar. So, but I love the brothers and we have six needle machines. The first one I bought, his name is Harry and it's from 15 years ago. And he stopped working and Don took them all apart, which was terrible. He looked like a Terminator or something and replaced the motor. And how many stitches does Harry have? Millions. Harry, Harry the first Harry. So we have Harry, I, Barry, Larry, Terry, and Perry. I'm not sure. Um, Larry was the last one I checked, and he had 57 million. 50, 573 million. That's sorry. more like it. 573 million. That's not Harry either. So, yeah, we, we do a lot. A lot of stitches. So Don's machines are down downstairs in his workroom. And he has five of them, six of them, five, five of them going at the same time. And it's loud and it's awesome. We love what we do. I think I like this better though. Tell Sophie I'll put a link in for Hatch. Oh, okay. Sophie, Don's going to put a link in for Hatch. Um, it's wilcom.com slash Hatch. And you can try it free for 30 days. You don't have to do anything. Just try it. And you get the digitizer and you know what I have 90 I have 90 quick tip videos and I think about 25 full classes in hatch um, beginner ones the whole bit so check it out for sure no I don't work for hatch um, it's just awesome uh, it's uh, an affordable Wilcom product which thrilled me so we use everyone asks what what do you actually use we use e4 because we're running a commercial business so it just we need the stuff that it has yes some um, oh we're almost done fancy stitches going on denise was asking if we use the commercial machines the fairy is commercial we only have one they um they're good machines it's not necessarily yeah it's a single head machine we don't for what we do, we don't need um, a multi-needle or a multi-head machine. But you like the um, non-commercial, the semi-industrial ones better, right? I love them. I, I yeah. was telling them that we have four brother machines and what they are. I love the 1000E. It's an excellent. Yeah. If we had a fleet of them. And I'm telling you, Harry's been around for 15 years. So it's awesome. Um, the commercial one, not my favorite. They're not as user-friendly. No, they're not as user-friendly at all. <gasps> you guys, it's done. Oh, that didn't take long at all. So, okay, switching cameras, Don? Nope. And microphone. <laughs> we just wait a sec for it to switch over. There we go. Okay, so... I could have been a little more careful with the placement, but I want, I'm going to hold it up to you guys. Look how awesome that looks in the middle of the cup. And if I had been a little more careful and realized it, I would have put this down and I would have put a boo so you can see it right now. It just says, Ooh, but it's kind of cool. I may even put googly eyes there. Cause why not? Right. We can have a live. Can you get me two out of the googly drawer? Eyes. That would be awesome. Yeah. There, I keep googly eyes in my desk drawer. I seriously do. I seriously do. So we are almost done. And oh, uh, they're in the front, Don. They're in the front in the 
one of the things. So all I'm doing is just cutting out, this is wash away stabilizer. This is also from Gunold and I only have to use one layer of it because it just works really well. It's nice and thick and holds everything, which is awesome. There we go. So I'm just gonna, you know, just kinda hack it, I call it, hack it out. And then all you have to do, let's look at the back. Yeah, see, that would be if you had one color fabric, even black, and you match that. So I have white bomb and thread, so you can't see it. But if you matched it and this was green, the back side would look pretty cool. I love that. I love that I did that. Now I'm going to fussy cut this out with my sharp scissors, but this is what I see. You ready for this? And I think that's perfect. That's awesome. That's, that's what I saw. So yeah, don't be afraid to think outside the box and embellish a little bit. And I think, oh, you want to put it on there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Don's hands are going in there. He wants to do this. Uh -huh. There we go. So Don's beer and pretzels what's left of them. <laughs> it's what's left of them so and the googly eyes and the it just happened to be so i guess i'm kind of happy that i didn't fussy cut it or anything it just happened to be the o from the boo is perfect so you guys picked awesome colors like this is fantastic awesome fabric and again, we will uh, link everything. I'm just gonna carefully cut this out. It would have been better to cut it out beforehand, I guess, but not really because it's water soluble, so never mind. So do it now. You don't have to be too precise because all you have to do is add a little bit of water and uh, it'll be done. But yes, I guess for the back. So if you're using fabric, fabric, make sure when your hoops turned over that you cut out this part uh, very carefully. I will fiddle with this to get all of the um, cutaway off. That was my bad. I should have done it and taken my time. But it is fixable, so I will take my time and do that. And then all you have to do is Riley's job. So Riley takes water in a bowl and a q-tip now i've cut this a little bit closer but do be careful you do not want to cut these satin stitches so you take a q-tip in water and it's gone and you won't be able to see it and the results are perfect and these stitches are fantastic and this is a great gift this is a great can you imagine giving this to someone for halloween which is my daughter, Sam, is in the University of Windsor, and she's going to have this on her desk for her caffeine, <laughs> whatever kind of caffeine that'll be. So she's going to love it. She's going to absolutely love it. So does anyone have any questions? Anyone at all? Denise Sobel, thank you for your time. You are welcome. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and joining us. We can't do it without you. So it's awesome. And Don, yes, I couldn't do any of it without Don because he holds most of the, the work that we actually get paid for and, and live off of. And he does, you know, 90% of that so I can have time to do this. So, yeah. But thanks, everyone, for your support. Um, thanks, everyone, for supporting the channel. Everyone get out there. <laughs> Let's do this. What? Suzanne says Riley's for hire. Riley's for her. I am going to California and just stay there. And Sophie wants to adopt us. Or you, anyway. <laughs> yes, adopt us. Well, that would be fun. You can just sit and stitch all day. So I hope you guys like this. I, I think that is the best mug rug I've done yet. So in the Creative Kiwi group or in OML Embroidery, I try to pay attention to what everyone's saying if you have requests let me know i do have a list i seriously mean i do have a list uh creative kiwi has asked me to do a couple more on the bigger you know placemat ones which i'll be doing i was kind of sick this week so i didn't get it done i got one but not the other so that'll be coming up next week p design 10 coming up next week and the class and as soon as i feel better you guys will be able to meet chester b and uh, learn a lot more about connections. So what's wrong? Oh, 
Well, yeah. Somebody said it was upside down and asked to turn it around. Oh, it's right side up for me. Yeah, feel free to shout out like that because I forget there's a lot going on here. Cameras and microphones and lights and stuff. And the camera's upside down. When I do a video, I just turn it around. But I forget I don't have my edit button, do I? I do not have my no, edit button. There's no edit button. There's no edit button, edit so I can't um, flip it around. The placemats. Yes, I'll be doing the placemats. Like I said, sorry, I was a little bit under the weather this week and really tired, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted, but I'll be doing more. Starla says, thanks to the both of us. Learning is so easy coming from you. That's awesome. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. My goal is, let me show you what my goal is. Hold on. Just hold on. I want you guys to be successful in every stitch. That is my goal and to get a YouTube button, but you know, that's besides the point. But I want you guys to understand, to hoop and to stitch and be so confident and successful in everything you guys do. So yeah, that's it. That's it. So anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, like the videos, comment with a smiley face. Every little bit that you guys do helps me out. So I help you, you help me. So if there's no more questions, um, thank you guys so much. I look forward to seeing the beer mugs that you guys are gonna stitch and post up for everyone to see. Carol's just doing the last color on her second one. Oh, well, I admire your enthusiasm. That's awesome. I can't wait to see them, Carol. That's fantastic. Yeah, Two you. in the morning. Oh, well, thank you for attending. It's it's so awesome. Two in the morning, yeah, <laughs> go have a go have a nap. I'm going to sit down with my wiener dogs and uh, watch a movie with my children and enjoy that. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.